number one in, in, in the country now? Is that sort of a validating feeling after uh, what you guys battled through over the weekend? Absolutely. Being number one in the country is a huge honor, and there's a lot of other great teams out there. So it does mean a lot, but we know we've got to keep looking forward and keep taking care of ourselves and keep playing the game we've been playing and hopefully just keep bringing home some wins. Is it sort of weird to, to think this is the first time the pack is number one in the country when traditionally the pack is number one in the country you know, almost all year long? Is that uh, a unique feeling? Is that sort of, sort of showing, do you think, that the way that softball is, is balancing out across the country? Absolutely. I think it's great to see that there is great competition everywhere Everywhere you look around in um, NCAA softball right now. And I think that for us as a whole, like it's just great to be back in the spot where we feel like we belong. And hopefully, like I said, just keep taking care of business and keep it solidified. How does your confidence change with that one instead of a two? You know, it doesn't. I, we, we know how good we are, and I think that a number doesn't really change the way we feel about our potential as a team. And I think that going into this weekend, we just know we have to come back and hopefully get three wins for sure, too, and take care of ourselves. Add a little pressure being number one, though, or is that something you want? It's something you want for sure. You know, I've always been one that's been taught, you know, you play with a target on your back no matter who you are. So I think that it's a great it's a great place to be, and I think that it's kind of an honor that everyone wants to beat you as bad as they do. And so it's, I, I think in itself it's just honorable more than pressure. What challenges does UCLA present, especially with Carta? You know, she's going to come at us. She's going to throw hard um, with a little bit more power than we've seen in a while, and we've just got to let her provide the power to our bats and just be calm and easy in the box. And we know we can score runs, and we're going to produce as a team, so we just got to take care of business and keep doing the little things. What's the left on base come out to? Is that an issue that is mental more than anything, or is it just lucky bounces? How do you guys kind of save that from becoming an issue again this weekend? Oh, our runner's left on base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, yes and no. We've just got to produce when it's when it's time to produce and I think on Saturday we struggled with that a little bit which is unacceptable I think that we're fully capable of scoring with runners in scoring position and we just have to keep trusting our preparation to let it let that happen for us was there any kind of light switch that that went on I guess uh, from uh, Saturday into Sunday or, or was that just was the Saturday loss sort of like that that you know snap back to reality moment that you guys sort of felt that you needed I would say that Saturday definitely lit a fire in us and I think that we all knew that that's not how we play softball and that's not our cap or not our potential we knew there was so much left and I think Sunday we came out to prove a point and make sure people knew that we were Oregon softball still and nothing happened we just let one slip which is unacceptable but we came back and I think we answered very appropriately yes no problem Thank you.